This is Scott Craig, Public Policy Advisor for KSLT, with your weekly legislative update from the South Dakota Capitol and Pier, where I serve as a member of the House of Representatives, and as always, I am joined by Dale Barcher, Executive Director of the Family Heritage Alliance, who lobbies for biblical values all session long. The preamble to the state constitution begins with these words. We, the people of South Dakota, grateful to Almighty God for our civil and religious liberties. Isn't that great? And this sentiment is still held by the majority of those in state government. And to keep our liberties is why we are here. And there are proposed bills that affect our religious liberties. Dale, what do you have for us this morning? Hello, Scott. Well, as we journey through this uh, session this week, we're putting final touches on the Family Heritage Alliance's South Dakota Leaders Capital Summit for Pastors, Priests, and Parachurch Ministry Leaders on Monday, February 22, in Pier at the State Capitol. And there is still time, uh, folks, for your pastor or your ministry leader to register. Simply go to fhaaction.org. For more information and or to register, Scott, as you know, we have two bills currently on the front burner that we really need the listeners help with. We need you to go to FHAaction.org and contact your representatives concerning the following. First, we are supporting House Bill 1008, which is the Student Physical Privacy Act. This is an act that simply says that if you were born biologically a boy, then you will use the boys' facility while in public school, such as restrooms, locker rooms, and showers. And the same goes with the girls. Now, if there is a student walking through gender confusion, then HB 1008 is sensitive to that and would instruct the school to do their best to reasonably accommodate that student with an alternative restroom or locker room. The Student Physical Privacy Act will be in the House State Affairs Committee this coming Monday, January 25. So please act today uh, to support House Bill 1008. Then, Scott, let me tell you about a bill that we are opposing. It is House Bill 1048. HB 1048 would remove the legislator's oversight of the South Dakota Lottery Commission regarding video lottery and give rulemaking authority to this unelected and appointed seven-member committee. This expansion of video lottery in South Dakota will also be heard in the House Commerce and Energy Committee this coming Monday, January 25. The time to act is now. Help us in opposing House Bill 1048. Thank you again so much, Dale. Now listen, be sure to tune in right here next Thursday morning for your next legislative update from the South Dakota Capitol in Pier. For KSLT, this is Scott Craig, Public Policy Advisor.